Almost one in five people aged over 70 suffer from a condition called mild cognitive impairment. Most experience little more than slight problems with memory loss, language or other mental functions. But around half of those diagnosed go on to develop the far more severe Alzheimer's disease within five years. There are few treatments and no cure for the mind-wasting disease, which affects 26 million people around the world. But now the discovery of a treatment, scientists say, will stop or delay the disease. Over two years, tests were carried out on 168 sufferers of mild cognitive impairment, a condition that leads to brain shrinkage in the elderly and can develop into Alzheimer's. Some of them were given massive doses of vitamin B, including B12, at around 300 times the recommended daily intake. The result, less brain shrinkage and a striking improvement in basic brain function. We took a fresh approach and we said, well, what do you find in Alzheimer's? You find a shrunken brain. The brain in Alzheimer's is shrinking at 2.5% per year. So why don't we look at what the factors that determine the shrinking of the brain? And one of these is a chemical substance present in the blood of all of us called homocysteine. And homocysteine's levels can be regulated by B vitamins. John Huff was one of those who took part in the trials. With his wife, he's still taking large doses of vitamin B, confident it will save their brains from wasting away. Well, I didn't notice any difference. I might not have been deteriorating, but you're not aware of deterioration. You'll only be aware if uh, things start improving. Uh, my wife thinks I was uh, better. But those working with Alzheimer's sufferers have cautioned people from taking high doses of vitamin B themselves, saying the long-term effects are not known. This is very encouraging news, uh, but it doesn't suggest at the moment that people should be going out and getting vitamin B tablets. What it does at the moment is say uh, there is enough here for us to build a platform to go and find some more money for more research. And scientists hope that research, large, full-scale clinical trials, will see this discovery lead to a simple and safe treatment for a debilitating disease. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.